I watched Star Wars The Force Awakens tonight. And I have to say, I absolutely loved it. It was wonderful, and it's been the Star Wars movie that I've been waiting for for so long. In lieu of watching Star Wars The Force Awakens tonight with my family, I decided that I would return to you all and make a video reaction slash review of it. The first segment of this video will not have any spoilers in it, so worry not. The middle part, I will transition into the segment where I do mention spoilers, so definitely pay attention to that because I will be prompting you to leave if you do not want any spoilers. Anyway, here we go. When walking into this movie, upon watching it, I was a little bit cautious and skeptical because I know that the prequel trilogy received a lot of criticism. Granted, I am one of the few Star Wars purists who has nothing against the prequel trilogy. I actually enjoyed it. But I also had a little bit of caution because J.J. Abrams' recent adaptation of Star Trek received quite a bit of criticism, and I was a little bit wary of what he would be doing with Star Wars. But overall, I have to say that I was very pleased and very satisfied with the movie that I watched. For those of you who stay true to the original Star Wars trilogy, I really feel like this will appeal to you. Obviously, we see the return of popular characters that were in that trilogy, but also it has that optimistic outlook that the original trilogy had. The prequel trilogy seemed a little bit more morbid and depressing because obviously it was showing Anakin's decline and his fall and everything like that. But this trilogy focuses more on that upliftment. Not to mention, it f is a little bit slower paced. We get more focus on the characters and we get less focus on the bombastic special effects and crazy, you know, Jedi moves. It focuses mostly on realism, realistic special effects, not to mention very interesting and well thought character interactions. I think you all will like that. We see the return of the amazing John Williams score, so that that will definitely appeal to you. I remember in the theater when we first started watching when the Star Wars credits appeared and when the the prelude appeared on the screen, everyone started clapping. It was absolutely wonderful. So there is that sense of nostalgia that I think a lot of Star Wars fans will love, especially a lot of fans of the original trilogy. Right now, since I am eager to get to the spoilers, I am transitioning into that. So if you do not like if you do not like spoilers, please click away right now. If you do want spoilers, feel free to continue watching. I was very excited to see the return of many characters like Princess Leia, except in this movie she is General Leia. Han Solo, Chewbacca, C-3PO, R2-D2, and of course Luke Skywalker. And then we see an assortment of very interesting characters like Rey and Finn and a couple others. I think, oh, the villain's name is Kylo Ren. And I am not going to reveal the specific character connections, but I am going to reveal some other things, because there are things that I seriously think you just need to see while watching the movie. I absolutely loved Rey because throughout the movie she we end up learning that she is a Jedi, and she is the first female notable Jedi that we get to see that doesn't die. And I think it's a very progressive point in the Star Wars story, because throughout the entire two trilogies, the only female characters we really see are Padme and Princess Leia. I have my gripes with Padme, even though I really liked her, but Princess Leia gives us a different depiction of a, fem a strong female character. This female character is much different. She is often fully clothed. She's not objectified in any way. She is a common person that ends up becoming this powerful individual, which I think is exceptionally wonderful. My other love of this movie is Princess Leia, who becomes General Leia, because we get to see how she develops a sense of the Force. And she doesn't become a Jedi, but you can tell that she is very sensitive to the happenings in the Force. There's a really tragic death in the movie that I will not go into detail about, but it really took me by surprise and I was not expecting it. You have to see that for yourself. There is a lot of comedy in the movie. I absolutely loved it. Um, the new droid that's kind of like R2-D2, but Roly, I can't remember the name of it, but it's absolutely adorable and wonderful. You will fall in love with this droid. This droid is absolutely amazing. One primary criticism that I did have of this movie was the fact that there was a lot of plot dumping, which means there was a lot of loose ends that had to be tied in order to bridge the gap between the original Star Wars trilogy 
and this trilogy and well this movie we don't know if it's necessarily going to be a trilogy but i think it is but there was a lot of plot dumping and it kind of got confusing at points but overall it wasn't something that was super distracting it was still very enjoyable because overall this movie is a really awesome movie and i'd have to say that i'd give it like a 9.5 out of 10 it was really awesome if you liked my review please comment rate and subscribe to my channel and watch my previous video, The Mundane Life of a Single Gay, Part 1. Part 2 will be coming this weekend, so stay tuned to that. And in the comment section below, let me know what you think of the new Star Wars movie, if you've had a chance to watch it or not. And people who are watching and you go down and view the comments, be conscious of the comments because they may contain spoilers. Anyway, thank you for watching, and may the Force be with you.